Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centaurian 753 with a polling video for my channel. And this polling video is a video about what we're going to do for the next episode, or next series. So I'm going to leave it up to the fans, to the subscribers here. Uh, we're going to do a YouTube channel poll, which I'll probably either post in the video, or I'll post a link in the video in the description. Uh, and I'll probably post a poll on my channel, so you can go ahead and uh, basically just go ahead and click on my channel down below, and uh, that'll bring you to the poll. And the poll is going to be between four different options. First one is uh, Kazakhstan. Well, actually, it's going to be Megastan and Megastan, which is a recommendation from Martini Boy 18, is to unite all the stands of Central. Asia, which includes Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, uh, I don't know if you mentioned Afghanistan, actually. Uh, this is Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, all the stands under one unification, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory as a series. Um, there was a few other goals I forgot to mention. I, I will post all the goals. I'm going to go ahead and check the comments if there are any other goals. Um, but I will post all the goals down in the description below for each one of these uh, different series that we're going to do that I'm uh, suggesting here. I think a side goal was, uh, as Megastan, was to uh, conquer Iraq and Syria, or at least help Kurdistan uh, in their uh, push for independence here, or maybe colonize Syria and Iraq, and then uh, create like a new Kurdistan state. I don't know if I can do that or not. So that's going to be option one. And uh, also for any of these options too, by the way, if any subscribers can think of any additional goals to post, because uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to post all the goals detailed that have been recommended for each one of these. And uh, if you have any other suggestions for additional goals, feel free to uh, add them to the comments of this video or of the poll, uh, which will be again on my channel. Option number two is Iran. This looks like a lot better actually. I was doing, so the reason why I'm doing a new series is because when I uh, conquered Venezuela in my French series, flipping back and forth was really annoying because the whole screen had to reset, but now with this, did it change that? Was there a patch done here? Anyways, those are the options by the way. Iran, so we have Megastan, Iran, Japan, and the American. Well, actually, it's going to be Texan. Yeah. Texas Independence Movie. Movement. Uh, that's going to be option number four. So I jumped ahead there. Back to option number two. This is Iran. We're going to be, this is very topical for uh, the news, what's going on currently in the news. A lot of problems with Iran, the United States. And uh, we're going to try to take Iran in a different direction, this uh, option. It's going to be Iranian Reformation, just like the Protestant Reformation. We're doing an Iranian Reformation. And we're going to try to change things around. Uh, it's probably more of a political reformation than a, a religious reformation. But uh, some of the goals include, and I had this discussion with uh, people on my Discord earlier this week. And, you know, thank you to Black Hearted Shaman, Feather Duster, and to... And to and two, to be or not to be, uh, for all your suggestions and uh, uh, spirited conversation about what the next series episode or series of episodes should be on my channel. So with Iran, there's a lot of goals listed here, actually. Iranian Reformation number one would be to make Iran a uh, top 20 GDP country. They're only at 430 billion. Let's see, where are they total? They are 18. So top 10 isn't too bad. Uh, we got to get ahead of Mexico there. Russia. Uh, speaking of Russia, one of the goals would also be to maintain close alliances or good relations with China and Russia. Uh, this game starts off. Oh, this is population. What am I doing? Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, this is a bad video. Uh, GDP. Okay, yeah. Oh, Iran is 30th. Oh, my God. That's going to be a lot tougher. So, yeah. So, make Iran top 10 GDP. Again, I'll post these down below because my listing is probably really bad. Keep uh, relations with China and Russia good. Uh, either improve relations with the United States or force them out of the Middle East. 
would be the option there. We're not going to try to go to war with the United States because, you know, that's uh, not what I'm looking for in this channel. Um, but we might have to, if, if it comes to it. You never know. Um, maintaining a sphere of influence in uh, all Muslim countries, and if I don't conquer them, then uh, at least uh, improve them in my sphere of influence, possibly creating uh, monetary unions or or new petrodollar, right? Uh, monetary unions or security agreements or uh, trade agreements with all Muslim countries. Um, and maintain good relations with them so we all are in the green. This is very bad right now with uh, Iraq and Saudi Arabia. Yemen, really? Is it... Uh, there's good relations with Yemen? Oh, this is the United States. Sorry, I'm on the United States. Am I on the United States right now? Why does Iran have good relations with Yemen? I thought Iran would be supporting the Houthi rebels against the Yemeni's government. Because that was going to be another goal. I guess they screwed this up. Okay, so I was going to say... What is that? Is that the Houthis? Yemeni students of jihad. Who are these guys? So one of the goals would have been to support the Houthi rebels, but I don't know if I'm going to do that now because of what's going on here. That's weird. Uh, support Lebanon. Which also doesn't have good relations. Ah, what is what is GPS4 doing? What is Everism doing here? Yeah, Lebanon should be like one of the best relations with uh, Iran. Parliamentary conservative rightist movement. I don't know if the political party is Hezbollah. Well, anyways, try to improve relations with all these countries. Um, also, uh, yeah, maintain good relations with Assad, which this is the least they have right. And I was probably going to probably build bases here and possibly um, push back the Israelis. At least protect Palestine. And those would be foreign, foreign policy goals. Uh, domestic policy goals for Iran, like I said, included top 10 GDP. Uh, converting it to a Democrat, an actual democratic government or a more democratic government. I know they have elections, but uh, maybe a multi-party system would be interesting because I believe right now they just have one party. Oh, I guess they, they have more than one party here. Oh, I think they do, they do have more than one party, but the parties need to be... Uh, or at least the nominees for president need to be approved by the Supreme Leader, but I don't know if that's actually, not the Supreme Leader, the Council of Elders, uh, but I don't know if that's actually, well, that would be changing the actual political party, in this game. Tolerant multi-party system under state control. Yeah, I guess that's that's pretty good. Maybe a free multi-party system. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Of course, that, you know, hinders my control of the country. Alright, so converting it to democracy and also improving gender equality in Iran. Right now gender equality is probably really bad. Index of salary, M to F. That's a glass ceiling effect right there. That looks pretty bad. Contraception rate, 73%. Female circumcision. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, abolish male dominance of adult women. Ooh. Yeah. We'll try to do that. And... What else is here? Abortion is illegal. I don't know if I'll take a stance on that or not. Prostitution is illegal. Probably keep that where it is. Okay, so that's going to be Iranian goals. For the uh, for the Iranian series, if you want to vote for that. Improving GDP, making it more democratic, improving gender equality, and expanding influence over the Muslim world. Uh, option number three is going to be remilitarizing Japan which will include goals of moving, making Iran, uh, or converting to an authoritarian party, which I think I can do pretty easily here. 
uh, reinstating imperial powers, powers of the emperor. I don't know if I can do that. The emperor is in the game as head of state, but I don't think you can actually do anything as far as, there's the emperor, changing his power. If I can, I will, but that was one of the suge suggestions. Um, ex creating a co-prosperity sphere, East Asian co-prosperity sphere, actual co-prosperity sphere, where we're not necessarily dominating every country militarily, but uh, having better influence over a lot of these countries, uh, particularly down here in Southeast Asia, Indonesia, uh, and the South Pacific. Um, I think the goal was also to conquer Korea, defend Taiwan, and eclipse China in uh, GDP, uh, in GDP, as well as creating the most powerful navy in the world. So those would be the goals for Japan. So I'm going to go ahead and list all those goals down below. Oh, I think maybe also adding a nuclear weapon for Iran possibly as a goal. I will list all those goals below. Uh, and Texas independence, yeah, enough said there, right? Um, I'm going to list these goals in the description. I will post the poll on my channel. Click on my channel on uh, down below, and you should be in my name down below, first in 2753, and you should be able to go right to the channel. And then you can go ahead and vote on which series do we want. Megastan. Uh, Iranian Reformation. Oh, that did that did that. That did that that time. J Japan uh, Japanese remilitarization or Texas independence. All right, those goals are listed down. Are uh, those uh, goals will be listed down below, and the poll will be on the channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you. F please do vote, and thank you for voting. And uh, we'll see what the next series is going to be. There'll probably be one or two more French colonialism episodes that I made, but I'm going to kind of put an end to that series right now, just because, again, jumping back and forth between countries seemed bad. I don't know, maybe I could try it again, because it didn't look as bad if you set it up like this. But since I had conquered it, I think it's, there's a glitch there. Since I had conquered Venezuela and took control of the government, it was a bit of a glitch. For now on, I am going to annex countries. All right, I'm just going to do it from now on because I was like hesitant to doing it. I want to like colonize and not have to occupy and everything. But yeah, I think for now I'm going to annex most of the countries. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you vote. Please do vote. And uh, I'll see you in the next series.